In this video, I'm going to tell you about what could be one of the biggest movers in all of 2022 in the crypto space. I'm going to tell you what problems it's solving, what its competitors are and why they're failing, and what this new project seeks to correct, and I'm going to tell you the only way that you can get your hands on it. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about some price speculation and who in the media is actually talking about this project. So here we go. Hey everyone, my name is Randy and welcome back to The Late Night Grind. Right now on this channel I'm covering cryptocurrency news, investment markets, and personal finance. So if any or all these topics interest you, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the Late Night Grind community, and also don't forget to hit that bell notification icon. And if you're feeling really generous, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. As well as watch this video all the way to the end. Those really are the two best things you can do to support a YouTube channel. So if you do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the potentially one of the biggest movers in 2022, and that is a new layer one blockchain known as Corium. Now, it is not actually officially out yet. In fact, the mainnet is not slated to be launched until August of 2022. However, however, what they are doing is getting their limited supply of tokens out into the hands of people who want to hold these core tokens via an airdrop. There's no ICO, there's no way you can buy it at this point, the only way is to get it via airdrop. So before I get into all that, I'm going to talk about who's featuring Corium and why they're featuring Corium and why this could essentially be the Ethereum killer that this market has been looking for for a quite a long time. Ethereum's got its own problems, it's got its scalability issues, it's got its, well, probably coming legal issues, and of course things like ridiculously high gas fees and the fact that its interoperability is spotty at best. And how Corium seeks to correct not only that, but a lot of the shortcomings of other layer one blockchains. And not only that, it of course is going to be interoperable. It's taking a page out of the XRP Ledger's playbook and being interoperable with just about everything. Corium is now featured on the front page of Entrepreneur Magazine. It's being called one of the biggest projects to watch out for in 2022. Now, I'm not just covering it because Entrepreneur is covering it. I've actually been covering it because they're doing an airdrop to Sologenic holders. Sologenic did an airdrop to XRP holders. And on this channel, I cover XRP, the case of Ripple versus the SEC quite a bit. So this already came along the path quite naturally but the more I've been studying it, the more I realize that this could be a huge project. So first of all, it is a new layer one blockchain and some of the things that it seeks to improve upon based on everything else that's out there are things like speed, scalability, uh, pressure under heavy load. And not only that, it's using a proof of stake consensus mechanism. So by doing that, it's actually limiting its usage of energy and becoming even more cost efficient and energy efficient altogether. Now, if you've been following Ethereum, this is something they've been talking about for quite some time, trying to move from proof of work to proof of stake, and it is proving for them to be quite a mess as they're now giving up on Ethereum 2.0 and now trying to call it consensus, and who knows when that might be ready. It was supposed to be ready in 2016, it was supposed to be ready in 2020, 2021, 2022, and now they're saying 2026. Not looking good. So what Corium has done has basically streamlined all of those issues, uh, including speed, scalability issues, and on top of it, actually using a fee stabilizing mechanism to reward its validators. Now this is something that Ethereum has really struggled with and why gas fees are so ridiculously high. Why the NFT marketplaces, there's a lot of people starting to complain that some of the NFTs that they're trying to buy, the gas fees are actually multiple times higher than the actual, than the actual fee for the NFT that they're trying to buy. Corium has been answering this call. Now, some of the people that have been following my channel uh, regarding the Ripple versus the SEC case have been hearing a lot about uh, the XRP ledger and what XRP does and how it's super fast, super cheap, interoperable, all that good stuff. And at first, when Sologenic, the Sologenic development team is actually the ones creating Corium, when Sologenic was doing their airdrop to XRP holders, there was a lot of XRP holders that got excited. But when Sologenic announced that they are actually creating Corium, this new layer one blockchain, and it almost sounds like it's going to be competing with the XRP ledger, a lot of the XRP holders didn't seem too happy about it, especially the fact that the ratio of Sologenic tokens being given to XRP holders was extremely, extremely low. But nonetheless, the Sologenic development team was actually looking at what the XRP ledger could do. Some of the things it does extremely well, but some of the things it didn't do, and that's what they wanted to correct, specifically involving smart contracts. Now, Corium is actually using smart contracts, and it's one of the things that they're offering support for, for things like being cross-chain interoperable with pretty much everything. 
But they didn't want to use just the basic Ethereum virtual machine like the XRP Ledger uses on its virtual sidechains. They wanted to create it natively in their own layer one blockchain, and that's exactly what they did. So not only that, Corium is actually seeking to essentially dethrone Ethereum for their place in not just smart contracts, but actually the place to go to actually host decentralized apps, decentralized exchanges, to be a leader in decentralized banking and finance, and even in things like metaverse and gaming applications. It's boasting at thousands upon thousands of transactions per second, I believe 7,000 transactions per second, which even the XRP Ledger only does about 1,500 transactions per second now, which is still extremely fast when you compare that to Ethereum's, uh, I believe, five transactions per second. So let's talk a little bit about tokenomics right now. There's a total supply of about 500 million core tokens that are in existence. Now, what they're doing is taking about 100 million of those and they are airdropping them to the community. There's no ICO, there's no way you can purchase them. The only way you can get it is through an airdrop. The other 150 million tokens will also be airdropped to core holders once those initial 100 million core tokens are airdropped to Sologenic holders. So basically over the next 12 months, Core is gonna be airdropping. Uh, every month, they're gonna be taking a snapshot and doing an airdrop to those who are holding Sologenic tokens, Solo tokens. They are gonna be dropping Core tokens. At the end of those 12 months, they're gonna be taking snapshots of those holding Core tokens and doing another 150 million Core token airdrop to those holders. And the rest is going to things like validator rewards, uh, application developers, maintenance developments, uh, the Corium team, the Corium team, the Sologenic team, and so forth. So it's looking like it's a very limited supply of tokens. If you compare it to something like Solana, which has about 400 million tokens in existence, and if you see what they did in 2021, where they went from $1.50 to $265 in a little under 10 months, you'll see why a project like Corium is being featured on Entrepreneur Magazine, because if they actually hit their goals and they do what they say they wanna do, this could absolutely blow it out of the water and be one of the biggest movers of 2022. So as of right now, there is no price on a core token since you can't buy it or trade it anywhere. However, they have done a few snapshots to Sologenic holders, those who are holding the Solo tokens, and they're gonna be airdropping the first batches of core tokens in February. Last I heard, it was the middle to end of February. They're gonna be doing their airdrop. Uh, there's actually gonna be a trust line that you're gonna to need to set up. So if you're holding your Solo tokens on the Sologenic decks or a centralized marketplace or your own wallet, there's some instructions in a link that's in the description in this video that'll explain how to set up that trust line and start getting the core airdrops. And so if you are interested in this Corium project and you would like to be a part of that airdrop and get those free core tokens, you can only do it by doing one thing and that is holding Sologenic tokens. So if you direct your attention to the link in the description below and full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. Uh, you can actually go ahead and buy solo tokens at that link. It's in an exchange called Bitforex. It's what I use. It's where I've held and trade a lot of my solo tokens. I've moved some to the Sologenic Dex where you can also get solo tokens and set up your trust line. Now the approximate ratio that they're giving is about 0.115 core tokens for every solo token that you hold. So for example, if you have a thousand solo tokens, you would be getting approximately 115 core tokens per month. Remember that's per month because they're taking 12 snapshots and they'd be doing 12 airdrops all throughout 2022. And if you hold after that, you'll continue to get core airdrops into 2023 and even beyond. So like I said, as of right now, they're looking at doing the first airdrop in the middle to end of February in which you will be able to exchange the core tokens on the Sologenic Dex. However, when their mainnet launches in August of 2022, they are gonna have a gateway where you can do a token swap. Think something like Trader Joe XYZ has for the AVAX network. And so all throughout 2022, they're gonna be announcing all of their different milestones that they're hitting and all of the different applications and features that they're hitting along the way. So if this is something where you've wanted to get into the ground floor of something, especially especially as something as big as this project could be and something that has its eyes on Ethereum and wants to take a huge chunk of the market cap out of Ethereum, well, then you can't look any further than a project like Corium. So let me know in the description below what you think about the Corium project, if you've done your own research on the tokenomics, on some of the projects they're actually building, and if this whole cross-chain interoperability is actually gonna exist. There's a lot of things that I'm looking into, but this is definitely one of the projects that I am keeping an eye on, and there is a very good reason why Entrepreneur Magazine actually has it featured. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I really appreciate you watching all the way to the end for giving it a big thumbs up, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.